Thank you very much, Principal. We're now going to proceed with the conferment of degrees and other academic distinctions, and I've great pleasure in calling upon Dr. Paul Adderley to present Professor Carl Butzer. Chancellor, Principal, members of the University, graduands, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great honour to present Professor Carl Butzer for this honorary doctorate. Professor Butzer is a most distinguished and globally recognised scholar in the field of geoarchaeology, environmental history, or if you prefer, prehistoric geography. With an academic background that spans the arts, humanities, natural and geosciences, Professor Butzer's interests can be seen to mirror the range and ethos of the present day research at the University of Stirling. Born in Germany in 1934, he and his family fled the hostile political situation in pre-war Germany and met and emigrated first to the UK and then settled in Canada. He studied at McGill University in Montreal and at the University of Bonn in what was by then West Germany. His first career post was at the University of Wisconsin and was marked by several key publications, including his first book, which won immediate acclaim from leading geographers and archeologists of the time. This book was expanded and in revised form was published in 1970 as Environment and Archaeology, an ecological approach to prehistory. It has since become a major text in the geoarchaeology canon, integrating physical geography and ecological understandings to our knowledge of past environments. In 1966, he became Professor of Anthropology and Geography at the University of Chicago. And during the following decade, his extensive field projects conducted in Egypt and Sub-Saharan Africa, nobly supported by his family, resulted in another groundbreaking volume titled Archaeology as Human Ecology. This was published in 1982, again to great acclaim. His research has assessed the relationships between environment and people and has spanned many different spatial and temporal scales. The early phase of his career focused on the environment of early humans, Neanderthal behavior and on the first appearance of anatomically modern people. In 1980, he joined the University of Texas, Austin and his research has since focused on more recent periods, in particular in considering the prehistory of Egypt, Mexico and Mediterranean regions, he has examined the impacts of long-term climatic changes. The results of this work on Roman and Islamic water management in southeast Spain will be familiar to the many environmental science and environmental geography students here today who have examined such sites during their own field studies. Professor Butzer is a prolific researcher and a lucid author, with over 250 journal articles and a series of mon major monographs published. Many are translated to other languages. At a personal level, I've always found Professor Butzer in his role as an editor of a major journal and a as a discussant at various conferences supportive of the approach that I and colleagues at Stirling have adopted in our own geoarchaeology and environmental history studies. Among many other awards, he has been elected to the United States National Academy of Sciences and as a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. His first major international award in 1979 was the Royal Geographical Society's Busk Medal, recognizing his fieldwork achievements. 
Professor Butzer has made an outstanding contribution to the subject areas of geomorphology, archaeology and environmental history and has inspired and promoted scholarship in these areas. For all which reasons, Chancellor, in the name and by the authority of the Academic Council and in recognition of his outstanding contribution to geomorphology, archaeology and environmental history, I have the honour to present you for the honorary degree of Doctor of the University, Carl Butzer. chance to hear a few words from our new honorary graduate a little later in the ceremony. It is uh, true that everyone here who will graduate today, whether you've been undergraduates, whether you're research graduates, uh, becomes, as Professor Botcher just has, a member of this university, which is a very proud title, and it's part of that community of which you, sir, are now a member, and everyone on this platform joins you. Many congratulations. Lucy Tese. Congratulations uh, to you all, and I now confer upon those candidates who are listed in the official record and satisfy the academic requirements and who are not present today the awards for which they are qualified. You all go with our very best wishes wherever your next step takes you. Some of you probably back here next year, who knows. Anyway, whatever you're doing, the university goes with you. It's now my great pleasure to ask our latest honorary graduate, uh, distinguished Professor Carl Butzer, to address the assembly on behalf of all of those who have received awards. Dr. Butzer. When I came here this morning, I wasn't quite sure what I would want to say, and what struck me was how much this is in fact a feast of a community and of many families and of bringing people together from many places. And the idea that this is a graduation or that it is in fact a commencement. And I have always wondered why we say commencement. And I think it is a very important point because in a sense it is once again a beginning. Uh, it is a beginning that allows our families to come from earlier generations, to come to university, to come together in the halls that bring together people from many places. The people for, come from other shores as I myself have experienced in the generosity that is often extended. And so in addressing Chancellor, the principal, the members of the family, of the faculty, the graduates and the ladies and gentlemen present, I would like to use this as an opportunity to express thanks, and to suggest thanks in the sense that uh, we as a community owe thanks to all of those who have believed in us over time, 
who have helped us, who have mentored us, and who have hoped that we will point in the right directions, that we will contribute to the future of bringing together people. The wonderful change that has taken place over the last generation or so is that you can look at the ranks of graduates at all levels and see the presence of women in strong force. An opening up that has taken place to some of the very best minds that we have. And uh, I personally have many to thank on both sides of the gender divide. My wife has been a collaborator, co-author, and a staunch supporter throughout my professional life. And it is a very important part. And I think that we should be aware of those unique talents that women have to bring uh, in the academic context. Now, one of the points also to be perhaps mentioned is that we have to look for leadership to bring people together from both the arts, humanities, as well as the sciences to approach problems that today defy rational understanding in terms of much of the public discourse. The idea of global change is something that is not as if it were declared by fiat by people that know. It is a matter of educating people that they can understand and think critically about what the issues of the day are. And that has to be conferred to our students from the beginning, that they are part, they are players in this matter of understanding, in screening what can be done to mitigate, what can be done to broaden the ability of us to participate. Uh, in sectors of not only government, but also in terms of the many types of work that can be done, all the way to the level of academia. So I would like to point out that this is in fact a wonderful fiesta for all of us, for our families, back many generations, those of us who are the first generation to go to university or have had the privilege of having parents who in fact were able to do so, opening up the future and hopefully that we can manage to be participants in that future as opposed to uh, silent um, shall we say, takers of the decisions made by others with not necessarily the best of intentions. I appreciate the opportunity to talk here because my first academic opportunities uh, were opened up in the United Kingdom and um, it has remained close to my heart in many ways on the basis of excellent lectures who came across the ocean as well to Canada and taught me the idea of quality education. And uh, I have tried to live with those thoughts and uh, found it inspirational. And therefore, I thank you all in the warmest of terms. Thank you. Professor Butsu, we're most grateful uh, for those um, uplifting words and for your sense of being part of the community that is present today, to which you are warmly welcomed on this occasion. As I've said, our congratulations go with you. Our hopes are that you will have a very happy day and that it becomes one that you will remember. There is a ceremony now, a ceremony, a party really, a reception to which all graduates are most welcome in the Pathfoot building, which will occur 
immediately after you have had beautiful photographs taken, which I assume most of you are. Our piper will bring this ceremony to an end. It's my great pleasure on behalf of the university to thank you, to congratulate you, and to wish you well. I declare this ceremony for the conferment of degrees and other academic distinctions now closed. Thank you very much. Thank you.